You know, as the most woke, empty house, billionaire, business advice guy who has a great body and very good looks, I also, I also, and, and in some circles, am known as also the most PG empty house, billionaire, business advice guy on YouTube with a great bod. And for the sake of that, since I am a PG family-friendly channel, this is made for the kiddos, this is made for the family to gather around, get together on a Friday night, and get some good old family-friendly, wholesome business advice. That's been my goal from day one. And because of that, no fap has always been a controversial subject in my channel, but you guys will not stop asking about it. You will not stop talking and asking me about the M word, master, Baiting, which for the rest of this channel, I'm going to refer to as mounting the manicure because I don't like saying that word. It creeps me out. But you guys are always ask me, what about NoFap? What do you think about NoFap? How, how, what, what's your thoughts on NoFap? And usually my response is an extremely sarcastic, hey, dude, if you, whatever, whatever you want to do in terms of mounting the manticore, it's up to you. And frankly, I've always laughed at it. I've always thought it's very funny because if you go and skim around YouTube, Every person preaching no fap, you're not seeing Bill Gates on stage. You're not seeing super successful people being like, hey, you know what? The way I got successful is I stopped mounting the manicure. It's always some dude in his car or some guy standing out in the woods with his shirt off or some guy in a dimly lit apartment talking about how he's, he's resisted mounting the manicure and it saved his life. Like, I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm lying. I'm totally making fun of anyone. Can we, can we be a little less bold with this subject? We got, we got Fearless Dan, who was just walking through a, a playground, and is like, hey, you know what I feel like doing right here? Talking about my uh, mounting the manicure habits. We got, we, got, we got Nostradamus right here. It's like, I'm, I'm just going to pull over by the side of the road real quick, turn on my iPhone, and just talk about my urge not to smack the, smack the monkey. I'm going to have my good friend come over today. We're going to sip, a, we're going to sip some tea together and uh, talk about boners. What, is, what has Terry Crews done? So this video actually isn't really even about mounting the manicure. It's about everything else that comes with uh, letting go of your discipline and actually letting your mind trick you into dopamine um, because it's actually all tied together. But I will, I will give you this. I will tell you this. I practice hard mode right now. And if you've, if you're, you've been around the videos, you know what that is. It means basically nothing, nada. And it's not so much around anti mounting the manicure. It's around everything that ties into it. When one pillar of your discipline collapses, every other pillar falls apart. And so what I want to talk about in this video, also, I realized that I kind of tricked you with the title of this video, but this ties into so much more uh, the nofap. And this has actually unlocked my discipline in that area, but my discipline in so many other areas. And if you care about getting more done and the benefit and the benefits of nofap, well, you're going to get 10 times more benefits in that area by also listening to the other parts of this video. So by all means, go watch a cat video or something like this. But if you don't understand this other stuff, it's going to be 10 times harder for you to do it in this area and every other area. Is First off, what you're, what you're probably wondering, I'll get into results and everything at the end of the video, okay? If you, want, if you want hard mode results, I'll talk about that. But what I more so want to do is completely hijack uh, the NoFap uh, community and create a completely new definition of what I do because, I mean, I am the most woke, empty house business advice YouTuber online, also very PG and family safe. If you're not viewing this with your kids and family, grab your grandmother, grab your kids, gather around because Alex Becker is going to be talking about mounting the manicure. You need to, you need to bring them around. It's very important. But more so, I'm going to stop with the intro. I just think this, this subject is so damn funny uh, to me uh, that I can't, I can't stop adding uh, stupid sarcastic remarks. So I'm going to stop because I know it's probably getting annoying. I want to kind of let you know what I'm doing actually because Corona is going on and I think it's a perfect time to invent something that's just completely psychotic um, and to see what happens. And so if you look at NoFap, there's, there's classic mode, there's hard mode, and I'm going to invent, I'm going to be the founder of nightmare mode. Uh, in this video. I'm actually going to be documenting it in Twitter. And it actually has nothing to do with no fap at all. It's one of many aspects to nightmare mode because of this. Because this is actually what I discovered overall when it comes to resisting anything that triggers mass amounts of dopamine. Of course, mounting the manicure is one of those things, but it's, it's one of many. And 
what I've noticed that is so insanely important to my success and keeping my momentum up is everything is tied together when it comes to extreme dopamine releases or collapses in your, your character and giving in the things that are not good for you. So I would always notice, and one habit that, that I would always have in the past, especially in my 20s, is when I would break one oath, one thing that I didn't want to do, five, six, seven, eight things would break. And it would take me very long to get back on the straight and narrow path where I'm just focused, locked in, perfect diet, perfect sleep routine, perfect everything. And if you read any books on willpower, it's because when you crack a little, you crack a lot. It's not like you crack a little and then you just crack a little and stop. You crack a lot. And so you might notice what I would do like on Friday nights, I'd work super hard, super focused during the week. And then this is a, this is a routine that everybody in society's in is I would go out, get a dinner of bad food. I would drink bad liquids, alcohol, okay, bad liquids, not family friendly liquids that you can drink with your grandmother and kids right now. If you're drinking those bad liquids, you're in trouble right now. Okay. But this video might be more entertaining, so you can go for it. But then I go and spend too much money at the bar. And then I would go and drink way too much. And then I would go and eat tons of food and break on my diet and everything. And then I would, in some cases, get so incredibly drunk. This has happened multiple times that I would charter a private jet to Vegas in the middle of the night, fly to Vegas, uh, and like ungodly amounts of money later, um, be like, oh man, I really crap. I really shouldn't have eaten that cheesecake at dinner. Look what it led to. Now, granted, those are a lot of fun and those are, that's kind of an extreme example, but the more less funny example is workout routine is off. My YouTube upload schedule is off. My business is off. My everything goes off and it takes me a good solid week and a half to get back on track. And I've noticed even as I became more disciplined, the more things that I allow in my life to, that trigger, um, unnatural dopamine, Okay. And I'll get into what these are here in a second. The easier it becomes, the harder it becomes for me to resist those things. The unhappier I get, the weaker my willpower and discipline is. It's not based on me sitting around and thinking to myself, this time I'm going to be super focused. This time I'm, I'm going to go a solid 30 days without doing one bad thing and keep super focused in. And it, it doesn't come down to that. It doesn't come down to some thoughts or a plan. It comes down to removing all the things that trigger this unearned dopamine. Cause the more that is removed, the easier it becomes to completely avoid these things. The easier it becomes to be hyper-disciplined. For example, a few weeks ago, I would go and, uh, usually on Friday nights because I don't go out and drink, I'll go get a few burritos and some Halo Tops. Ooh, it's, it's good stuff. And what I then notice is then I eat that bad food and then the next thing you know, I'm watching, binge-watching Netflix. And then the next day, I'm lethargic in bed and not uploading YouTube videos. And then I'm also, oh, I'm skimming through my phone on Facebook. And then, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll check Instagram a little bit too. And while I'm at it, you know, I'm kind of being an F off right now. Let's just, let's just go and uh, read political posts. Let's just go to Twitter and read political posts and get upset. And I'm, I'm just going to scroll through the Facebook news feed for the next two hours as well. And you slowly just start to break down and all sorts of other things start coming into play. And then suddenly it becomes very hard for you to resist these things and it becomes extremely extremely difficult to do anything discipline wise, like sit down and watch CEO interviews, read a book, um, write your list of goals for the next day at work, thinking about work in general. You don't want to stick to your workout routine. You don't want to stick to what you're doing. Um, because, oh, you're lethargic. You don't feel as good. And, and oh, you're just kind of giving yourself a break here. And then you crack super hard. And the thing I've also noticed is that things that take a lot of discipline become 10 times harder. For example, it's been very, very difficult for me the last few months to execute 48 hour, 72 hour fast. I've been kind of doing nightmare mode when I'm going to describe here in a second, the past week, but I'm going to get really into it this next week. Cause I think it's actually the key to unlocking even more fulfillment. And I'll be documenting it at Twitter at ZSS Becker. Do not, do not click away from this video to go do that. Go open another browser and follow me there. Cause I actually share and give away a ton of stuff there. Uh, that is where we put all of our live stream contest on there. We give away tons of courses. You should go follow me on there. It's just, it's a cool place to be. But again, do it in a new window because it hurts the algorithm if you click away. But I noticed the deeper I get into just removing things, the easier it becomes to do discipline things. Like suddenly I'm reading again. Suddenly I'm watching hours of CEO interviews. Suddenly I'm able to execute a 48 hour fast without too much trouble. For example, I haven't eaten in two days uh, as we watch this video and I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. And so I wanted to point out that, that circle to you because it was a big problem for me, I think, because I thought these things are unrelated. Oh, I can play Super Smash Bros and still keep my discipline up. Oh, I can... I can eat some bad food on Friday nights and keep my discipline up. Am I saying that you can't enjoy the less higher quality things in life that give you a lot of dopamine? Am I saying you can't do that? 
No, but I'm saying in periods of your life where you want to get a lot done, I think you should actually try abstaining from everything because of two reasons. The first being the thing I just spent the last five minutes talking about. It all builds on each other. When you are disciplined in all things, it becomes easier to be disciplined in all things. When you are less disciplined in one thing, it be, turns into another thing, and it turns into another thing, and then it turns into another thing. And number two, it's because you will actually be a lot happier. Look, a lot of people, and especially you're going to probably read in the comment section, like, what a horrible life this guy is living. This guy must be miserable. And it kind of blows my mind. Because the more of these things I remove from my life, the happier I get because I'm actually more present in my life and able to focus on um, the things I'm really passionate about and really care about to give me the most fulfillment. Because I'm no longer being misled all over the place by dopamine. My willpower is no longer jaded uh, by shenanigans. I don't have this strong urge to be doing stupid stuff all the time. And because of that, I'm happier because that stuff always makes me go, oh, I wish I didn't do that. And I wish I was disciplined. And overall, a lot of times in my life and probably your life, you've probably noticed those few people who are just a problem uh, because of their discipline and their willpower. They are just, they just are a big threat in any industry they get into or anything they set their mind to because they're just super disciplined. You're like, wow, I really wish I could operate like this person, but that's just not me. Well, I think it'd be really cool to be that person who's just a giant problem to everybody else who doesn't have willpower and doesn't have discipline. I know in business, it's horrible to go up against those people. And I want to be that, that terrible person to go up against because he has no life and has way too much and is way too intense in what he's doing. I'd rather be that person. I think that's a lot more fun way to live life. But the other thing about this is when people think, oh, you're moving all these things, you're taking all these things out of your life, you're gonna be depressed. You know there's an inverse relationship between TV, video games, social media, and all the other things out there and happiness. There's no one out there whose life got significantly worse because they quit Facebook and Instagram. There's no one out there whose life got significantly worse because they stopped smoking. There's no one out there whose life got significantly worse because they stopped partying and drinking. Okay, like there's a few things that do trigger dopamine, like socializing and interacting with people. Great, but those things can also be a giant waste of time too, but that's kind of up to you. Those are more natural. It's not gonna be as toxic. But all these things that trigger dopamine with no effort, TV, bad food, Instagram, you know, you know the list. I've been getting into it on the channel. No one's life ever got worse by dropping these things. No one ever was like, oh man, you know, my life's been a shade of gray since I stopped checking Kylie Jenner's mother Instagram. I just don't have any motivation since I stopped getting my motivational daily feed from Gary Vee. That's never happened. It's never happened. So it just blows my mind when people say that. And so with all those things in mind, I'm doing what I like to call nightmare mode at least the next seven days. Um, but I'm also sticking to my, my kind of crazy lifestyle right now, not forever, of having literally owning no objects not having any hobbies outside of work in my business, sticking to an extremely rigid diet. At the moment, not dating, not going out, not socializing, and just focusing on my business. But I wanna add it to a whole other level of psychoticness, because why not? Like, why not? People watching this might be thinking, and I know what you might be thinking, I get it, like it's weird. But if you notice, people that are weapons in their life, they usually are doing really crazy, almost like, excessive things like Navy SEALs. And that's just one example. And I don't want to list off all the examples of challenges that people face that are excessive that better them in the long run. But it's, it's just common knowledge that they do. And so I'm like, okay, let's, let's try some crazy things right here. And let's actually see how much we can suffer um, and how much we can gain from it. So, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to first off hijack the NoFap community and invent nightmare mode, which of course involves all the stuff that comes with not mounting the mana core. But over the next seven days, I'm going to try my damnedest to watch absolutely zero television, okay? Um, no YouTube, no social media except Facebook during at 1 p.m. and uh, when I need to do live streams to my groups. No telephone whatsoever. I'm just, I'm, I'm turning the thing off for an entire week. Of course, no video games. Of course, no alcohol. Of course, the base things that I'm already doing. And the only thing I'm allowed to do outside of work is read and watch CEO interviews. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how that works. I might go for 30 days. We'll see. But I think, I think the results are going to be even better because it all just compounds on itself. And then eventually I want to do ultra nightmare mode. I don't know what the next level of hardness and doom is, but I want to do ultra nightmare mode where you don't eat for five days and then you don't 
and then you still do all those things. So then you don't even like get food and then see how like that works out. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. And I don't think I have enough body fat to, uh, uh, to live off of, uh, to do that at this moment. So, and so that's just a general concept I wanted to share with you guys that I think was preventing me from hitting the levels I want to get to for a long time. Cause I think I, th I thought to myself, oh, these things aren't all connected to each other. I can have this thing and it's not going to affect this thing, but they don't, they all compound on each other. One thing I want to point out is, is what I'm describing right here. Isn't a permanent lifestyle. It isn't a permanent thing. It's when you want to really get stuff done. And what I want to do right now is I want to get high roast to the, a certain level. Okay. I want to get it to a certain level and I want to grow it to a certain point. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take everything else out and put it all in the fire of that. Am I going to do that forever? No, I will probably play super smash bros. Again. I will, I will probably go to Vegas in the future. I'm, I'm telling you, I probably will. I will, I will eat burritos once again. And I, I probably will talk to girls at some time else in the future, but not right now, because I'm, if I go and do any of those things, I'm not going to be able to enjoy them to their fullest because my main focus is high roast right now. And I'm not even getting any returns on them because I'm not able to benefit from them because I'm able to invest into them. For example, if I'm going out there and trying to make friends and whatnot, I'm not going to really have the focus and energy to really invest in making friends. And so at that point, I'm not going to really make friends. I'm just going to be half doing it and half doing things doesn't work. It never works. So if I'm going to do something, I'm going to go all in on it. And then we can, once we get to the point we want to get to, then we can be a little bit more balanced, but not right now. So that's my thoughts on it. And I think if you're watching this channel, the main reason why people don't get success in business, um, which is why a lot of you guys watch this channel, it's not because of the tactics, it's because they don't, they can't get anything done. They can't focus. They have no discipline. And I think nightmare mode could help your life out as well. Not even something as excessive as nightmare mode, but at least doing something, at least getting rid of like 90% of those things. Why, why not? Like your life is not going to get worse by losing these things. It's just not. So I think it's pretty cool. And so that's what I'm going to be doing now uh, on the results of, um, mounting the manicore hard mode. Um, you're, this is, this is not going to be the video you're looking for, but, uh, yeah, all the, all the things that you see people talking about on YouTube, the excessive amount of videos of guys talking about not mounting the manicore pretty much true. A lot more energy, a lot more focus. And I, I find overall the main benefit to it is not doing one bad thing leads to not doing other bad things. And so it becomes a lot easier um, to stay the course and uh, stick to your guns. It becomes a lot easier to just say, no, I'm not going to eat today. I'm going to complete my 48 hour fast. It becomes a lot easier to say, I'm not going to sit around and uh, binge watch Netflix. I'm not going to sit around and waste my time playing video games. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to watch a CEO interview. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to try and practice detoxes. All these things just become a lot easier and you're able to say no to a lot of things. And you're able to, I, I personally feel you're able to by basically resisting what your body naturally wants to do, um, you have to kind of separate from your body and your mind and AKA be present. And by doing that, by being present in that one thing, it allows you to be present in other things and reject those other things. And so this Friday, for example, I, I really had the urge. I'm like, Friday's rolled around. I want a burrito. Okay. This sounds so silly, but it's like hard. It's like, I've been working really hard for a week. I want to, I want to drink a beer and eat a burrito and have some halo top. And at this point right here, I said, no, because I'm, I'm sticking to my guns in this one thing and I'm feeling great and I'm feeling wonderful. And I can feel my body saying, Hey, dude, some cookie dough, halo top, man, some burritos. It's going to be pretty good. They just, they just released a new season of altered carbon, which sucks by the way. It's terrible. Don't even waste your time on it, but you could go and you could go and binge watch that. And then I was just like, Hey, no, I'm pumping out more content than ever. Business is booming right now. Um, it's very exciting time. Let's keep this going. And I was just able to detect that and, and not listen to the body and kind of just look at the feeling going throughout the body and say, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not what we're doing right now. And I think, I think doing hard mode helps a lot with that and helping you be more present in things. So that's my two cents on that. There's a zillion and one videos of guys sitting in their car describing the, their benefits of not mounting the manicure. So you can go watch those and get, get information on that. So that's my thoughts on it. That's the video. Been locked in my house way too long because of this Corona thing. And so I'm really bored. It's allowing me to make a lot of videos. So hopefully you're enjoying them.
Be sure to subscribe because again, I run ads to everybody that subscribed and hit the notification bell and liked a video. I can target at specifically in Google ads and I run just a few dollars a day in ads to give away thousands of dollars worth of my old courses. I don't sell any beginner courses right now. I have nothing to sell you like at all, but I did make courses in the past and I'll give you those for free. If you see those ads, but you have to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell.